on the rocks this evening we have abby newton with abby newton aesthetics Hi guys. welcome thank you for having me absolutely rooftop on the rocks is our opportunity to meet local business owners and to make a fun drink this evening we're going to be making your favorite cocktail what is your favorite cocktail my favorite cocktail is a midori sour the midori sour my favorite the midori sour i think is like the perfect summer drink in a lot of ways mm -hmm. but it's also just so colorful and it just pops in your it's hands beautiful and, and really it's the only green liqueur out there right like yes. when you see a green cocktail it's so pretty it's midori it has like the frosted glass yes. it's so good when was the first time you ever had midori or you had a, a midori sour do you remember legally <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm totally, I'm totally kidding. Um, my first Midori sour I had was actually at Mipoblios on my 21st birthday. Oh wow! Yes, another local restaurant here in Shelby. Yeah. It was a recommendation to me by a friend. Oh. They told me it tasted like a green Jolly Rancher in a cup, it and is. I cannot find a better way to describe it beyond that. It is so delicious. You know, like what you celebrate on your 21st birthday and what you drink can either be really, really good or really, really bad. bad and or really ruin bad. your opinion on that drink forever and ever. Luckily, so, this one's been a keeper. Oh, it's such a keeper and it's just you can either add a little bit extra vodka if mm -hmm. you want something to sip mm -hmm. on and you know not have to refill as often right. or you could add more Midori and just be able to like drink a lot of them it's just yes. so much fun so good so we have a couple parts to this I always think it's fun when we talk about drinks to talk about the the measurements what are the parts for the ratios that we're going to be using this so evening? the parts for the recipe that we are using today is one part vodka two parts lemon and lime, mm -hmm. three parts Midori, and then you'll top it off with your soda water, tonic, Sprite, whatever you wanna use. Yeah. It's interesting because everyone's got their own ratios of what they mm -hmm. like in their, their palate. And that's the fun part about creating cocktails yeah. is it's an artistic experience and yeah. you can imbue it with whatever you love and, and what your favorite parts are. And some people make their Midori sours really sweet. Like they have like a margarita mix and they, they pour in right. all this sour and all this sugar and it kind of ruins the melon flavor mm -hmm. for a lot of people. I like for mine to stay very refreshing. Yeah. And that's what I like about this recipe. And your version is less sweet and I, I would say more honest to the flavor yeah. of the, the melons. I think I looked it up, it's musk melons. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I didn't know what a musk melon was, but right. we know what it tastes like. Yep. I mean, it tastes like Midori. Um, I did a little bit of research and this was actually released at Studio 54 in New York in, New in York 1978. In the 70s, yep. yes. I mean, that, that's a huge deal to be It able... looks like a 70s vibe, doesn't it? It really does. It's got the curves and it's got like the, the, color. the black and green. Yeah. yeah, Studio 54. And that's definitely like the glamorous vibe that I love going for. Right. So let's start this drink. Let's start off with the ice in our cup and okay. we'll talk a little bit about how much fits in there. So you can bring your cup over. So these are called rocks glasses, and a rocks glass is a set volume, but once you add the ice, you know in your head how many ounces are left. So once you have ice in this, mm -hmm. it'll fit about seven and a half ounces. Okay. So when you have in your head, okay, so one part, two part, three part, you can start to do the math, and it's e really easy for this right. drink. It's actually just one ounce vodka, two ounces lemon and lime juice and then three ounces Midori because we're gonna have a little bit extra space left to on top with. for the soda. So right. you keep it nice and easy and have those proportions. But remember, if we had a really big cup, we could change those proportions mm -hmm. up. So next up, we're going to add all of our ingredients to the cup first. And I think it's fun when you're doing a smaller drink to add the ingredients first and then add the ice so that if you're taking a little bit more time, the ice doesn't melt into your drink right. as quickly. water it down. Yep, so why don't you go first? You could add one ounce of vodka. Okay. Perfect. So this is a jigger and that's the one and a half side. Okay. And if you flip it over, it's one ounce. Perfect. And it's always good to pour it so much that it actually bubbles a little okay. bit. Okay. Some people, they don't pour it enough and it just flattens out. And so a little bit more. Yep, exactly. Beautiful. The one ounce, get it. All right. Perfect. And then the next up, we're going to add two ounces of lemon and lime. So you'll add one ounce of lemon and one ounce of lime. Perfect. Lemon and lime. It's just so pretty. Love this. It is pretty. And I think the lemon and lime helps with that like neon green mm -hmm. color too. It's nice and summery. Mm -hmm. And then next up, we're going to do three ounces of I'll Midori. I'll pour mine in my cup. No, you're good. So why don't you pour it all the way in here. 
And then once you shake it up. Okay, so my ice is already in there. Once you shake it up, we can even pour it over fresh ice and make it even Good more deal. cold. So you can go ahead and use that and use your jigger. And we're going to do three ounces of Midori. Perfect. That's one and a half. So one more. It's always it's always interesting because like bartenders are so used to using the pours, but like regular drinkers are like, what the what is this pour right. doing? Like what? All these instruments. Yeah, it's like why is it taking so long to pour my drink? Next up, we're going to use either this cup or this to keep it easy. Why don't we use this? It's called a large tin and a small tin. Okay. You can put your small tin on top and shake it up. Yeah. right. Yum! Another option is actually just to pour the ice in and put it on top and you can shake it like that and just use the cup itself. Good that option deal. is a little bit you more look difficult. You like a professional. <laughs> and we just pour it straight back in and leave a little bit of room on the top for the soda. Perfect. We'll add a little bit of soda Let's on top. And then maybe a little bit Fresh more ice. ice. I'll add a little bit of soda to mine. And then we're going to garnish it garnish with a it. lemon. Here you go. Beautiful. And so I cut these. These are called wheels whenever they're circles. And you cut a little. Sometimes people do it like halfway. I like to cut the line like two thirds down oh, yeah. so it sits, sits a little bit easier. But that's the Midori Sour, the Abby Newton style. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah. Mm. So good. So I have some questions for you. Absolutely. So Abby Newton aesthetics. I feel like aesthetics is so much, right? Like, like what mm -hmm. is aesthetics or what do you specialize in? Aesthetics is so broad. You can go into so many different outlets. Mm -hmm. My specialty is brows and permanent makeup. Um, I do a lot of skincare, mm -hmm. but I also heavily on the weekends do a lot of special event and wedding makeup. That's right. And I've had the opportunity to be here at your mm -hmm. beautiful place yeah. several, several times. And I absolutely love yeah. it. Yeah. So you do makeup and you focus on the makeup part whenever you're here at Uptown Indigo, absolutely. right? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. I think it's that so is fun. my weekend hat. Yeah. I and mean, then whenever brides, it's so fun whenever you're a bride and you're able to choose, like, who do I want to be the one that does my makeup for my wedding mm -hmm. day? It's, it's a, a big choice. It's a huge honor. Yeah. It's a huge honor. Um, and so, like, you've got your hair person downstairs, and you're kind of like, I always try to make the bride feel at home and feel mm -hmm. at peace, but it's, mm -hmm. you got a lot going on on your wedding oh, yeah. day. Like, you have you've the got the whole a, glam squad. The glam squad. That's a nice way to put it. I was on your website earlier and I saw your brand and it was saying that you're adding this glamorous experience to the rural city yeah. and that's kind of what we're trying to do. Yep. What yep. does glamorous mean to you? Like what is what makes it different from the rural experience? I feel like glamorous is a feeling that you have when you are confident, when you feel beautiful mm -hmm. and you can give your best self to the world. Mm -hmm. Just having a glamorous feeling. Mm -hmm. I feel a little glamorous right now. I feel glamorous too. <gasps> there go. Top, nice mm -hmm. drinks. Mm. So, brows. does that just mean that like like it's a shaping of the brows or it's waxing of the Because I don't really know. I don't right. really know how that stuff works. Wait, do you not do your brows? Not much. We'll start. Should I? I yeah, probably I should. Say, we'll start. We'll make you know, I'm <laughs> totally kidding. I probably, totally kidding. I probably need so to. So there's a lot that goes into brows. Mm -hmm. I do just like your regular maintenance waxing, brow mm -hmm. tinting to give them some color, but oh. I also do something called microblading. And microblading is huh. a form of permanent cosmetics. So that is actually tattooing hair strokes. Really? So they're all the time. So you, so you have like a little tattoo gun? I have a tattoo gun. I have a blade. Yeah, all the things. Whoa. I'm also a tattoo artist. Wow. But I can only put eyebrows anywhere you want them. That's the only thing I know right. how to do. Well, that <laughs> sounds like a special, because if you do that wrong, oh, yeah. everyone's going to know oh, real yeah. quick. So that's an interesting specialty. Love it. Wow. What, what other specialties or what other things do you offer for your business? So I do a full spectrum of facials, chemical peels, full body waxing. Mm -hmm. I do spray tanning, mm. um, teeth whitening, like I said, permanent makeup, permanent eyeliner. Mm -hmm. That's All a lot. Things. It's a lot of things. Have you been busy since the pandemic? Yeah. So when we were closed, we were closed for about 60 days, so two months. So mm. I've been playing a lot of catch up and yeah. I will be officially caught up probably this week wow. and take a new appointment. So it has been absolutely insane, but I'm yeah. so grateful for that insanity. It's, it's such a blessing to be able to 
to get back on and keep going. Absolutely. And, and people are, are ready and wanting yeah. what you have to offer. Yeah. Um, it has been a huge blessing and it yeah. was humbling and it made me feel great to know that people were excited for me to come back just yeah. as excited as I was to go back as well. Yeah, and your social media, I always like seeing your stories and seeing what you're up yeah. to and knowing that you're busy and that you're doing things. And I, I think that for me, glamorous is the highest quality even if you don't have to give it. It's like, right. you know, because what's what's the competition like? Well, for our venue, I think a lot of our competition is in Charlotte. Like like, yeah. we, like we have a Charlotte level venue. You have Charlotte level glamorous yeah. expectations. It's a different vibe. And, and, and when you're at that top tier, sometimes you're the only one at that tier mm -hmm. in a small town. But so what keeps you going? Well, it, the fact that it's glamorous, the fact that it's high end, mm -hmm. it's hard to, to have that level of service. You have that drive and you always want more. Yeah. You always want to be a step above. Yeah. And, and keeping, staying innovative, staying on top of things, staying aware of like new technology. There's new trends, there's new ideas, there's new techno technology, yeah. there's new technique always coming out. And yeah. I feel like it's important no matter if you're in my business or in your business, stay on top of those trends. Yeah. And that's why I love talking to business owners yeah. is they're aware of trends. There are people out there who they just float like with right. their with their business. And, and I don't want to be that type of business. Mm -hmm. It's like, I want to always try something new. We did a TikTok for the first time oh, on our Instagram. TikTok, TikTok is oh, so much fun. That was new. And, and our intern, Felicity, she was like, let's try this. Yeah. That's what we need to try to do is like push the limits and keep yeah. going. And sometimes businesses don't do that because they don't right. have to. Right. But that's what I like about high-end brands is if you're high-end, if you're glamorous, mm -hmm. if you're like the top elite ability of, of what you're able to do, you have to stay cutting edge. Always cultivate. Yeah. Yeah. always be on top of the newest thing exactly Absolutely. well i'm so excited that you're here and that we're able to be on thank the you rooftop. for having me it is so beautiful yeah. it is such a gorgeous night absolutely well i hope that we can do more work together in the future Absolutely. and thank you for sharing this recipe yes thank you so much i hope that everyone at home makes yes. a sour please this make summer. a sour you will not regret it cheers